and that was Lara. Now, one of the big themes at the moment is wireless charging. That normally means putting your phone on a pad, but it is also possible to send power through the air. One of the problems with wireless power is that that power is sent in every direction at the same time. So wherever your device is, it only receives a tiny fraction of that power. Well, here's a system that gets around that by sending focused beams of power to one particular point. The power transmitter can be built into ceiling tiles, walls, tables, or parts of the furniture. All it needs to know is which direction to point the power in. Now, here's the science bit. To work that out, the device needing the power sends out low power signals in all directions, most of which are blocked by nearby objects. But the signals that do bounce around and reach the transmitter come in at particular angles. Now, by sending the power back at exactly the same angles, that power bounces about and eventually gets back to the device. The makers told us that they can achieve two watts of power at a distance of one meter, which impressively is about half the power of a smartphone charger. I'm using this light to detect the power beams between the transmitter and the black box receiver. Think about your home where you have smoke detectors. Think about that smoke detector that starts beeping at night because it runs out of battery. You can power that remotely, never have to charge the battery again. But with high power beams lancing about your home, you may be wondering, is it safe? This technology is entirely safe, and we look to get FCC approval for safety uh, that certifies the technology as safe. So if you have accepted Wi-Fi into your home, accepting Kota technology would be the same. In the future, the power receivers could be made into any shape, including that of a AA battery. And that means that ordinary devices could be converted to wireless power without any modification at all.